So I saw that people were talking about this yesterday, but I forgot to go over this. Um, so why not do that right now? So there was some Mayhaps problematic uh, rate mentioning, which is important, of course, for things that are real money, RNG, if you don't want to get hardcore sued. Uh, for surprise style boxes that were, rewards were gender locked. Uh, and I think this also goes hand in hand with the zero problem, right? Where if you open the box as a zero, that it was always male, even if you were like looking like the girl zero character, you would still just get male NX. So they're switching that around. Um, and recently, uh, we're aware of the recent community concerns about the issue with the surprise style boxes containing gender locked items. As we complete a review of the issue, we would like to share the details of what we have discussed. First, we'd like to uh, express our serious apologies concerning how items can be obtained from these SSB items. We acknowledge that there was an issue where zero characters, well, they're talking about it here, uh, both having alpha and beta, yada, yada, yada. However, they were only able to obtain male, unisex, and unisex items. Also, there was an issue where the way uh, the SSB rates were published on our website, which caused confusion about how the items were given, depending on the gender of the character. Ooh, you never want to be confusing with that. To better uh, clarify the circumstances, our SSB rates pages currently indicate that all items have an equal chance of being obtained. By the way, the percentage rates were displayed was misleading because it shows each gender locked item as having an equal chance of redemption each time the box was opened, even though it was not feasible for male characters to receive the female equivalent item and vice versa. Yeah, of course. Yeah. This means that there was a shared chance of obtaining either a male or female item instead of having equal chances of obtaining each gendered item from the list. I mean, with the way people deal with um, percentages and with maths and language, I'm gonna assume that uh, most people kind of understood how that worked. Uh, but I guess to be extra clear, I should be happy that they're doing that, I guess. Me of all people. Uh, as an example, here is an excerpt of how the rates are currently displayed for SSB that contains 50 items in the reward pool. Rates, item A, male, 2%, item A, male, 2%, 2%, yeah. Using some of how the rates should be displayed for an SSB that contains 50 items in the reward pool, with two of these items being gender locked. 2.0, yeah, exactly, like that. Mm -hmm. The difference between what was published on our website and what we should have been published was due to our oversight, not realizing that the rates should be recalculated with consideration for gender locked items. We apologize for our error and, and the lack of clarity on the distribution rates for the gender locked items, which led to us presenting Misleading. Ah, okay, no, no, so it wasn't just like being clear, right, right, because it goes up to 2.04 Because they're like, oh, there are 50 items, 2% for each, but that's not true because there's 0% of some items So there's technically a higher percent chance for everything. Yeah, okay, I get it. I get it now uh, We apologize for lack of clarity and the distribution rates of the general locked items which led us to presenting Misleading and confusing information on our website. Go for we'll include additional items in the SSB reward pool if um, if there are gender locked items, which include uh, items included in the SSB rewards to account for the shared slot of male and female items so that each probability slot will have a fixed rate of 2% or 1% if there's 100 slots. Yeah, because 2.04 is kind of silly so that they can just always say 2. So it'll add some extra items in the rotation if there are gender locked items. As a sincere apology, we are planning the following compensation. For zero characters in all worlds that have purchased an SSB item, we will distribute the female counterpart item for the, uh, the male SSB item uh, items that were received, so you're doubling up on those, between April 22nd, 2015 and August 15th, 26, uh, 2021. Huh. Do you guys remember with Flames and Cubes how they only kept track of two years of results? Hmm. But for SSB box opening rewards, they keep track for six and a half years. Curious. We have maintained the related logs from April 22nd, 2015 onward and would like to compensate all players for whom we have records. Hmm. Where's my four years of uh, flame and honor experience compensation next time? Handing out like 10k flames? Oh, I already got 14k flames. <laughs> Should have been even more. Now, honestly, um, flames didn't exist in um, in GMS for that long. We had nebulites before that, so I don't even know if that would have changed much. But for honor experience, it would have changed quite a bit, probably. 
Uh, we will give you an update on how the items will be distributed once our investigation is finalized. And then for players in all wor worlds that have purchased SSB any SSB item uh, that included male-female specific rewards, including zero characters, in the past two years, ah, so there's the two years again, we will distribute the following items, two royal hair coupons and two royal face coupons. Okay? And then for all players who have an account with a character level 30 and above, which should be pretty much everyone, including players that meet the above criteria, created prior to this announcement, will receive the following items as a token of our apology for the incorrect information we provided. Okay. Are you able to choose between the following two outfit sets? Please choose the set according to the gender of the character you would like to use it on. Okay. Duh, but okay. Um, male Moonlight set and female Moonlight set. And then a legendary Bebe box with 30 15 minute double experience and drop coupons, 10 special medals of honor. That's the 5k one, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 20 arcane symbol selector coupons, 3 trade boost potions. Please don't use those on charm, it's a waste. Inside and empathy, that's wherever they go, okay. 4 selective slot coupons, an extreme growth potion, and we looked it up earlier, and I think we arrived to the consensus that that's probably the potion that lets you get between 1 and 10 levels on characters between level 150. No. Was it 141? 141 and, two, and, and 199. Uh, and then five Eternal Rebirth Flames. Uh, further update and information about the distribution period for the compensation will be shared in a future post. Again, we sincerely apologize for having misleading SSB item rates information on our website. We'll clarify the rates and indicate the gender locked items on our current SSB rates page as soon as possible and provide the accurate rates for all surprise top boxes going forward, as they already should have been. So everything is like 2.04 or like weird percentages now? Oh my god. How many boxes are there? Oh, these are way more boxes than I... God damn! <laughs> wow, I was not aware there were this many boxes in this game. I mean, they're not all available at all times, of course, but Jesus. That's a lot. Premium surprise style boxes. Uh, now they have 2.08%. Yeah, so that's... Just to make sure the total goes back up to 200. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's good that they figured that out. It's good that they are fixing it. It's good that they're compensating everyone who was wronged a little bit more and that, you know, everyone is getting some free shit. Um, as far as I know, this is not part of the compensation that we, that they said that we were going to receive because the game was uh, broken for basically an entire day and everyone was crashing for everything. So I'm guessing we're still keeping an eye out for that unless they do an amendment and being like, oh, this part was for that, but it doesn't specifically say. So as far as I'm aware, there's more compensation coming from for the the update chaos. This is just purely for the surprise style boxes being indicated improperly and basically giving false expectations and false rates for people who were buying these and trying to um, get you know spend money and basically gamble uh, to get the equips that they wanted. So yeah, that's a short update from the website from Mabel News, and uh, I guess we'll stay tuned for the other compensation. Uh, and at some point, you got to wonder if you want to be that company that gives compensation every three days rather than making your stuff work the first time around. But that's a discussion for another time. All right. Uh, I'll see you in the next one, I guess. And thanks for watching. And 